And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again, another day committed to picking a fight with the mainstream media and always providing you the timely truth centered around real estate, credit, finance, and so much more. Uh, interior design today on the show as well. And uh, you're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show, Tampa Bay and the Gulf Coast region's number one consumer advocate program. Now, what is a consumer advocate? That's what we do here. We're going to help you understand more about your buying decisions, help you uh, sort through a lot of the nonsense out there in the mainstream media, and help make you just a bit more street smart here. Uh, we're going to educate, entertain, enlighten but most importantly we want to engage with you so that we can help you win the only thing i'm addicted to right now is winning now save our hotline number in your phone because at some point you're going to need it 813-670-7372 you used to call me on my cell phone 813-670-7372 Don't forget our number. Bookmark our website, consumerqb.com. A plethora of information available for you at our website, consumerqb.com. You can see links to all of our expert contributors, all their contact information right there. You can submit an email form that's going to come directly through to my team. And we're going to make sure that we get back to you before our head hits the pillow. Uh, we're going to help you win no matter what you're facing out there. Intelligent Talk Radio. I've got some intelligent folks here in studio with me today. Back in studio, my man, Nick Kick, BBMC mortgage welcome in thank you very much brendan how you doing today excellent Looking things are forward good to another solid week of getting people into brand new homes so yeah man let's uh go ahead and see how what we can help them out with Make and the sure feds, I have all the questions answered the feds raising rates yes they have and, and the funny thing is is anytime the fed is meeting any lender is going to pad their interest rates for that day so mm. they're going to put rates out and they're going to come out higher and even with the feds raising the rates my rates dropped a little bit overnight nice. so they do pad it so every one of your lenders everybody does that so definitely okay. give me a call because just because they built it in rates are going to go back up again so yeah. we do want to make sure we get off the couch and get you into a home get you locked and loaded before it's too late absolutely you know conventional fha va all types of loan programs investor programs out there down payment assistance programs we're going to talk about as well and we have an upcoming buyer and seller seminar uh, that we're going to be hosting november 8th thursday november 8th save that date uh, we're going to be hosting an event over at uh, Cox Media Group. They've got a nice performance theater there. They're going to allow us to have access for that. Uh, so stay tuned for more details on our first time buyer or buyer seminar and seller seminar uh, coming up. Also, Michael Morabito, uh, back in studio, interior design expert. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. Coco Design Group. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. We're going to talk about some projects and some upcoming trends. Cool. Yeah. Trends and, uh, you know, all things design. I mean, it's such, you know, you walk into a home, the, you know, the construction guys, the builders, they're, they're building the home, they're putting together, you know, everything from the foundation to the walls, but it takes, you know, in many cases, a woman's touch to come in and make it home. Right. Yeah. And you got to stay on those guys. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Ooh, tell me about it. Over a year for our build uh, uh, on a, uh, you know, so that's the process a lot of times, but interior design also doing home staging as well. Yes. Um, yep. Staging your home, trying to make it sell as quick as possible. Studies show, statistics show that a staged home is going to sell uh, much faster. It's going to sell for a higher dollar amount uh, with less hassle, less showings, and it's going to help you, you know, get it on and off the market. That's the goal. People walk in and they can just visualize how it's going to be rather than just walking into an open floor plan with no furniture in it. That's right. Yeah. And uh, James pulled up some uh, some trends in design. Uh, we've got different trends here. We'll go through and maybe get your opinion on these and yeah. maybe get a thumbs up, thumbs down on some of these. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, some different articles that we'd like to pull. And we have a feel good story of the week coming for you here. Uh, feel good story of the day. Rather, uh, we've got uh, Jose Andres served three point six million meals in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. Now he's feeding people hit by Hurricane Florence. So uh, find out about that cool story of humanity uh, coming together, pulling together after a, a natural disaster like that. And as you know, I'm the host of the show, Brandon Rhymes. I'm also the owner of Platinum MVP Realty, and I'm a top listing agent here in Tampa Bay, helping our sellers profit more on the sale of their real estate properties. And we would love to help you. Here's a hot property I've got on the beach over in Pinellas County. 
1370 Gulf Boulevard, unit number 401. This is a corner unit in the Bella Rosa condo on Sand Key. $1.149 million listing of mine. Beautiful property, million dollar buyers. I'm looking for you. I want to talk to you. I want to show you this property. Uh, it's beachfront, just a gorgeous property right on Clearwater Beach. And uh, something different for you here. I've got an airport for sale. Anybody out there looking for an airport? Uh, any pilots? Where are my pilot friends at, right? my mind. <laughs> there you go. Uh, 20151 Powerline Road, Dade City, three bedroom, two bath, $250,000. Now, there's two separate listings here on Powerline. What you've got is a 15-acre parcel, which is also $250,000, and it's a landing strip. It's an airport, uh, and they're, they're not approving from what I've gathered from the owner. They're not approving many more you know, new airport permits permits to be able to come in and it's not an airport like you imagine where you have a, a you know restrooms and vendors and restaurants and all this is actually a, a strip of grass that's an airport uh, and then you also have a, a single family residence on the adjoining 10 acres so it's a great opportunity here lots of opportunity here in Tampa Bay uh, investors are buying up properties rates are still relatively low when you think about a 40 to 50 year history of mortgage rates and this is a great time to live work and play here in Tampa Bay And I got to give a shout out to the Bill Maher Beach Resort over on Treasure Island, the official hotel partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. It's the Bill Maher Beach Resort. It's 10650 Gulf Boulevard, Treasure Island, filled with fantastic and generous amenities to make your vacation that much more special. The Bill Maher Beach Resort has been one of the most sought after destinations in Treasure Island area for years. Uh, for those on quick business trips, or maybe you're planning a, a wedding or some type of a corporate event, check them out. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. And and take them up on special offers and incentives just by mentioning that you're a fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show. All right, let's jump right into it. We got Nick Kick in the house, mortgage expert, local lender, support your local economy. You know, guys, that's one of the themes of this show. And, and too many times people are just walking into the big bank, taking whatever type of program they give you. Uh, they're not really researching and shopping rates like Nick does. Nick, Nick and his team, uh, they, they do a great job of, you know, finding that right solution for each individual borrower. Yes. Not every person, not every borrower is a cookie cutter loan. You know, everything does take a little bit of extra care to it. You know, you have the online banks and online lenders that if you fit within their little box, it's a nice, easy loan. But anything that, you know, job changes or asset depletion or different things like that can cause a hiccup for them that they may not see as often because they're used to the cookie cutter loans. By right. coming with me, I'm able to see that before it even happens or, you know, fix anything or put you in the right position to get approved. That's why I like to get our applications done up front. I like to get you in underwriting before you even find a home. This way you know you qualify, what you qualify for, so this way you don't have any disappointment. You find that dream home and it might be a little bit more costly than um, you, had, you had expected. Well, I can tell you if you qualify for it, have the underwriter approve you before you even find that home. So get with me. Get with your realtor. We'll all get together. We'll develop our own little special team. So this way I can make sure you're finding the dream that the dream home that you want and that you can qualify for. Um, a lot of lenders and brokers, what they'll do is they'll just take your application. They'll pull your credit and then tell you, okay, you're pre-qualified up to this amount. Well, you know, that's a, that's a norm in the business, but do you really know if you qualify until I see your pay stubs, until I see your W-2s and I'm able to verify your employment and income and able to verify how much you have for closing costs and down payment, you're, you know, it's all guessing. So unless the borrowers do fill out a complete application, everything checked off, we really won't know how much you qualify for. So on the, also the good side too, your realtor will be happy that you're pre-approved and not just pre-qualified. A pre-approval, pre pre -approval, and you can attest to this, you go in with the pre-approval instead of a letter stating they're pre-qualified, you're going to have an easier time getting your offer accepted when you're competing against other buyers. Absolutely. So, um, a savvy realtor is going to, by the way, you know, it, a, a savvy realtor is going to ask those questions. He's going to look into that. He's going to say, Hey, is this just a credit pool or is this an actual income verified, uh, pre-approval? Correct. Correct. And that, that's what we're really trying to push for now. Um, you know, I'm able to get all your disclosure documents out, get you through underwriting. And, you know, that's that typical process is, you know, 10 to 14 days to yes. get that done. Well, if I already get that done before you find a home, you can realistically sign a contract and close within two weeks. Yeah, that's 
pretty much unheard of in this business. Usually it's 30 days from contract to closing. That's the norm in the business. Yeah, 45 I, I've even seen. Okay, and I'm, I'm averaging, even without doing the pre-approval up front, I'm averaging 17 days from contract to pull approval to or clear to close. Yeah. So with that being said, it's going to relieve a lot of stress for any of you buyers out there because you're not waiting to the last minute to get documents in. You know you're 100% approved well before the closing. So you have a week to two weeks sometimes to pick out what color you're going to paint your home or get with Michael over here and see how you're going to redecorate your home because yeah. you have that extra time. But please do not charge anything on your credit cards. Do not open up any new credit cards during yeah. this process because that can change a lot of things. So please, please, please do not go and get a new car loan or anything like that during the mortgage process you're only going to make life difficult for myself and yourself as well so yeah. if you do need to make a large purchase i know things happen car breaks down you have to get a new car reach out to me let's discuss what kind of payment you can still you can get and still qualify so definitely make sure you're full disclosing to both your realtors and your brokers yeah it's a team effort when it comes to financing to real estate you know you want your cpa talking to your advisor your financial advisor talking to your mortgage team talking to your realtor there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes and it's important that you uh, are prepared uh, in those manners and uh, different types of income documentation maybe mm -hmm. we'll touch on that when we come back so uh, even though the rates are increasing there's still at 40 to 50 year lows really good time to get into the real estate space and uh, we would love to hear from you on our consumer advocate hotline give us a call or a text and i want to talk about the market as well prices are kind of stabling off here in tampa bay now with those rates and also could be leading to uh, more of an indicator of the stock market kind of pulling back and maybe going into a little bit of a, uh, a recession not a recession but a, a, a contraction all right stay with us right here on the consumer quarterback show more from our expert contributors and we have our field good story of the week coming up and we're going to talk about trends in design as well interior design with michael morbido toco design group nick kick in the house stay with us consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com thanks for listening to my daddy's show for more information go to consumerqb.com to get in touch with brandon call 813-670-7372 online at consumerqb.com I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978.
You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. And we're back here, Consumer Quarterback Show. I'm your host, Brandon Rhymes, former USF football player, played on the inaugural football team at USF. Go Bulls. We're off to a good spark, uh, start right there this year. Um, you know, got a nice uh, season ahead of us. Published author, professional speaker. Check out our book on Amazon, Become the MVP in Your Industry by Surfing the Radio Waves. We'd love for you to check that out. Uh, we are also uh, now have launched, officially launched, a business growth celebrity academy, uh, bgca.co. Check out bgca.co uh, for more information about that. We're running daily webinars uh, so that you can learn more about growing your celebrity, growing your business through our unique business model. Model, the Business Growth Celebrity Academy, uh, partnered up with Ken Shamrock and uh, Des Woodruff on that UFC Hall of Famer and uh, WWF legend Ken Shamrock. All right, got a couple of hot listings here. PlatinumMVPRealty.com. PlatinumMVPRealty.com. You can see all of our listings. You can search the MLS. Uh, you can also do a home valuation at our website. But here's a couple uh, vacant land parcels. Just kind of want to give you a, a little teaser of some of the vacant land available. Uh, this one's 11315 Traley Drive in Riverview. Uh, this is in Shadow Run. It's $135,000. Actually just reduced down to one twenty five. dollars now, this is an opportunity to build a custom home in Shadowrun, uh, the great community in Riverview. A vacant lot also available at 5603 East Longboat Boulevard in Tampa. This is a Bayside uh, area of Tampa. It's uh, the uh, Bayside, kind of the uh, long, Longboat area uh, in Tampa, kind of that town and country area. But there's a, a beautiful lot that's available. You've got bay access if you do buy or rent a boat dock. I've got a lot of vacant land available. So for any buyers out there uh, thinking about buying and building, I'd love to talk you. We've got a property on Bosch as well, right on Lake Tarpon. Uh, you got water views of Lake Tarpon. I've got 84 acres on Valrico Road. Some really good land listings that we have here in beautiful Tampa Bay. A great place to live, work, and play. Somewhere, somewhere sunny and 75. All right, so I'm going back to Nick Kick, BBMC Mortgage, our local mortgage expert contributor. Support your local economy here uh, in Tampa Bay. So the rates are kind of creeping up. You know, the prices are stabling off. You know, I see the price prices kind of leveling off. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not seeing as much month over month appreciation as you normally would. So if there are sellers out there saying, oh, I'm holding on, I'm waiting for the peak, I think we're pretty close to the peak, Nick. I can agree with that as well. Um, I'm not seeing too many of my appraisals coming in over value as I was in the previous six months. Um, you know, sales prices and contract prices prices are pretty much matching what the appraisals are coming in for. Um, they're not fluctuating as much as I had seen. So that, that tells me the same thing that you just stated as well. Um, so, I mean, definitely before it gets too late, before you miss the boat, find that property. Let's get you into the home before it's too late. Um, and then a lot of people don't understand this or, or know this. We'll go back to the first time home buyers. Yep. First time home buyers doesn't mean that you have never owned a home in your life. It's within the past three years. So if you not, had not owned a primary home in the last three years, you qualify for the first time home buyer programs, which the first time home buyer programs allows for down payment assistance. We get money from the, the counties and the government in order to assist with your down payment and closing costs. Um, in Pinellas County, we're currently able to give $7,500 or get you $7,500 to go towards your closing costs. Wow. So with that $7,500, and then if you're able to have your realtor negotiate some seller contribution, you're looking at next to nothing out of pocket. You can wow. realistically, I'm working, I, I just did an application for a guy. Uh, we're looking to close by the end of October. Right now, preliminary numbers, he's coming out of pocket with about $1,000. Wow. And he's getting into a brand new single family home, $150,000 home. He's paying rent right now for $1,000 a month with this new home. And just off the preliminary numbers, his principal interest, taxes and insurance payments gonna be about $1,100. Wow. So he's only spending $100 more a month, but he has a place he calls his own. And he's starting the American dream. He's able to start his portfolio with his first time home. Yeah. So, I mean, you get into the home, you start building equity, and you know, it's, a, it's an additional type of savings account. You know, you're, you're going building to have that wealth and equity. Exactly. You're building so, wealth. You're building a legacy for your family. You know, it's it's security. You know, if exactly. you're renting, you know, the landlord could change his mind. Hey, I sold it. Sorry. You know, you got to be out mm -hmm. in 30 days, 45 days, depending on what your lease says. But the ability to buy a, a home, call it yours for equivalent or even a lot of cases, less money than yes. you're renting. Yes. And 
I mean, it's your home. And the, also the good thing too is, as I mentioned, the, the gentleman's gonna be paying about $1,000 out of pocket, which is the equivalent of his rent payment currently. Well, you'll, when you close on a mortgage, you have one month off without paying a payment. So by having, if he closes in October, he doesn't make a payment in November. So that $1,000 he would have paid on rent, he's living in his home, so it's a wash. So realistically, he's really coming out of pocket with nothing. Yeah. in order to move into this brand new home that he gets to call his own. Wow. Um, so, so you put $7,500 through get, a down payment assistance program? Correct. So it's $7,500 through a down payment assistance program. Um, so if you figure that out on a $100,000 loan, with, and this is an FHA loan, he's got to put $3,500 down as a down payment. So that leaves him with approximately $4,000 to go towards closing costs. Right. And then whatever is left over on that, that's why we have good realtors such as yourself that negotiate seller contributions. And that's how we're able to have people get into homes with next to nothing. Yeah, seller and, contributions are a big part of the real estate space. I think people don't really understand that they're even available. Uh, some realtors may not understand the process either, but you know, just a quick example, $100,000 house, and if you offer, let's say let's say the seller, you know, is, is pretty stickler, they don't they're not going to come off the price, okay? So so to, to effectively give them that same offer of $100,000, all you would do is raise the sales price to 103, ask for 3% seller concessions. Now, that seller still going to be netting the same amount so he's happy the buyer is going to be coming out of pocket with three thousand dollars less that's going to be three thousand dollars essentially that the seller's gifting to their down payment prepaids and closing costs right. so it's a really cool you know way to do it yes and i i wholeheartedly love the program because it is getting people into homes that don't necessarily think they can right and it's developing a good relationship with myself and the realtors as well being able to help clients that you know, necessarily didn't think they can qualify for a home or buy a home. They come to me, they get a home, and then they can actually advertise to their family members, friends, coworkers, because spreading the word other than us doing it on the radio show, yeah. you're not really going to believe what you get in the mail. Because you're I'm sure anybody that's had their credit pulled within the past sixty days are getting all types of mailers talking about credit cards, talking about mortgages, talking about just about anything you could possibly imagine. Yeah. So make sure you educate yourself, reach out to myself. Let's talk about what we can do, what we can get you qualified for. Even if you weren't looking for a home or thought you wanted a home, give me a call. You may be surprised. As yeah. you said a little bit ago, your mortgage payment could possibly be less than you're paying for rent. Sure. And so, I mean, that's a great thing. And something I do want to touch base on as well is uh, one of the reasons I love working for BBMC Mortgage is we do take care of our veterans. Um, you know, yeah. our, our mortgage, our division president of our mortgage division is a West Point graduate. Mm. So he takes it to heart, making sure we take care of our veterans. So we do not charge any bank fees. There's no processing fee, no underwriting fee, no origination fees, anything like that. We do not charge our veterans to get into a home. And on top of that, we'll even pay for their appraisal. So... That's nice. another loan that they're basically coming out of pocket with nothing if they do get the seller contribution because on VA loans, you can finance up to 100%. So there is no down payment. There is not the 3.5% or 3% or 5%. It's 100% financing. So yeah. you negotiate seller contribution, and once again, you're coming out of pocket with next to nothing. Many of my VA loans, the um, clients will put down $1,000 to hold an escrow as a deposit. I'd say at least 80% of the time, they're getting a portion of that thousand dollars refunded at closing yeah, because super. of the fact that we're charging you're saving over two thousand dollars by going with us for a va loan because we're not charging those bank fees so tell your friends about that i mean if you it's, you know a veteran a lot of times they know a veteran they maybe they're, they're themselves but the the veteran they don't know about these programs a lot of times exactly so exactly. Nick, bbmc mortgage can help you they've got great programs platinum mvp realty we're going to give you a quarter to a half a point back just by utilizing us, whether it's the buy side or the sale side on a uh, real estate transaction, we're going to give the veterans a quarter to a half a point back. Uh, so there's a lot of reasons why you want to reach out. Uh, we'd love to talk to you. 813-670-7372. You can call or text our hotline, 813-670-7372. And we would love to get in touch with you, help you with any of your financial, your real estate, your business questions. That's what we do on a daily basis. And we love it. Every week, we're getting more and more calls. Uh, we're getting email engagements. I'm getting direct messages on Instagram, uh, at Brandon Rhymes one on Instagram and Twitter, uh, Consumer Quarterback Show. We have pages on Facebook as well. Uh, Nick Kick, BBMC. 
UMC Mortgage. Again, local lender. He's got investor loans, some really cool investor loans. Maybe we'll talk about that in the lightning round uh, coming up on the show here. But, you know, we can also offer you a rent versus own analysis. If you or someone you know or love is uh, renting still, you know, what a great time to take a look at getting into a home, uh, getting rid of the landlord's, uh, you know, paying the landlord's mortgage for them. Pay your own mortgage, right? Build up your own equity. And, uh, you know, there's several advantages to owning a home. You're building up equity. You're paying down principal. You're building wealth. You're leaving a legacy for your kids, your children, your family. Think about that, you know, from that perspective. And of course, you know, when you own the home, you, you know, when you're renting, it's, it's kind of difficult. You can't throw the cool party sometimes, you know, you get in trouble, you know, can't throw the parties, but uh, doing Michael that. decorated for you. So, yeah, I mean, you that's gotta, right. Get, get your own home so we can put her to work. That's right. So uh, coming up, we're going to talk with Michael Morabito, Coco Design Group, interior design uh, extraordinaire specialist in that space. Uh, we've got home design uh, and we're going to talk about home staging as well. Uh, and it's uh, really just some, some really strong on real estate here today, uh, helping you understand more about these buying decisions. A rent versus own analysis will help you uh, understand more about the renting versus owning when it comes to an actual payment uh, coming in and out of your uh, paychecks each week. So stay with us right here. Consumer Quarterback Show helping you win in any marketplace. Check out wholebodyfuel.com, wholebodyfuel.com, chef prepared, convenient, healthy, delivered meals directly to your home or office. Wholebodyfuel.com, chef Brian Adamo and his team do a great job world famous protein donuts and more wholebodyfuel.com we'll see you right after this short short break hey everybody i'm forbes riley celebrity tv fitness host and creator of the spin gym i'm here today with brandon rhymes and you're listening to the consumer quarterback show great ways to get happy healthy and wealthy to get in touch with brandon call 813-670-7372 online at consumerqb.com Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Hi, my name is Joe Staltieri. I'm one of the owners of Complete Care Systems. At Complete Care Systems, we do carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, tile and grout cleaning, tile and grout sealing, wood floor and laminate floor deep cleaning, as well as stripping and waxing of linoleum and vinyl floors and a whole lot more. We also run daily deals and special, which you can find at CompleteCareSystems.com or simply call Trisha up at 727-364. 5158 and she'll answer all your questions and give you over the phone free estimates or she'll send me out to your home or office to give you an on-site free estimate at complete care systems we don't cut corners we clean them listening to the consumer quarterback brandon rhymes cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in tampa bay online at consumerqb.com 
All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here. I'm your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and a top listing agent here in Tampa Bay. And we always want to help our sellers profit more on the sale of their real estate properties. Uh, we got a great buyer agent team as well, really solid buyer agent team that are going to be able to help you uh, search for the right properties and, and negotiate the right deals. And, you know, it's important that you're uh, working with a qualified real estate agency. Uh, of course, when the markets are hot, more and more people are getting into uh, the real estate real estate space there's a lot of people getting into real estate and uh, they're not all equal uh, you know a lot of times people are just kind of cutting their teeth so do you really want uh, to choose that agent who's brand new uh, when it comes to you know working with a lot of times your your most expensive purchase uh, of your lifetime so you know make sure you're working with a qualified real estate agent Someone that's going to be able to answer those questions. I would ask them, you know, specifically if you're listing a property, you know, what do you do differently outside of just putting it on the MLS? Because most real estate companies, they uh, utilize what I call the 3P marketing plan. Okay. So they put it on the MLS, they put their feet up on their desk and they pray it sells, you know, the, the extent of their marketing plan in a lot of cases, but uh, there's some great realtors out there as well, you know, in the Tampa Bay market, but you know, it really, it's a 62 hour course. It takes, uh, I think double or triple that to get your hairstylist license, uh, your cost cosmetology license so and nothing against those people those are great people as well but you know when you're dealing with real estate 60 hours versus two or 300 hours to you know work with uh you know the hair and stuff like that so all right so couple of hot properties here in Tampa Bay, 103 South Habana Avenue uh, in Tampa. This is a, a beautiful property, great for an Airbnb. Uh, the owner's motivated. We just reduced this down to $525,000. It's in the Tampa Plant High School District. Beautiful property, five bedrooms, three bath, 2,464 square feet. And it's right in a prime area for Airbnb rental. Just a great opportunity uh, for investors. Nick's gonna talk about some investor loans later in the program as well. Uh, beautiful property in Pinellas County, uh, 1209 one 145th street in Largo. Uh, this is yellow banks, Grove, uh, three bedroom, two bath, uh, over around 1200 square feet on this one, close to Indian rocks beach. You're close to marinas. you got the crabby bills. You got a nature park. And this property is uh, close to the beach, right across the bridge. You're on the beach. And one of the best parts is that it's not in a flood zone. You're not paying insurance here uh, on this beautiful property in Tampa Bay, Hillsborough County, Be or uh, Pinellas County, rather beautiful property here. And I want to give a shout out to Curry Leaves Restaurant, our official restaurant partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show, Indian Cuisine. Excellent food. Curry Leaves Restaurant. They've got a nice lunch buffet. They've got dinner in the evenings. The food is excellent. You know, a lot of the herbs and spices that they use are actually good for you as well. Uh, very, very fine dining here. Curry Leaves Restaurant, Indian Cuisine, right on Kennedy Boulevard, just across the street from the Intercontinental Hotel, uh, right there across by the West Shore Mall. And uh, the official restaurant partner of the consumer quarterback show are they still giving away water with lime if water with lemon show? that's right yeah right. <laughs> they'll hook you up man they'll take care of you over Just there gotta mention brandon rhymes and we get free water with lime there you go every time all right so we got michael morbido here in studio interior design expert a uh, home staging expert and uh, what are you seeing out there what's what's kind of hot and trendy right now oh man so ceilings are something that i'm seeing a lot of not just doing a plain white ceiling getting a little interesting in it with it whether it's wallpaper or you know just painting it a little darker than your actual wall color okay uh that's interesting been, yeah and even the texture that, yeah. so even if you're not going to be that daring um instead of like a standard knockdown uh more like i've seen like a knockdown that's tiger stripes so it's it really catches the eye even ones wow. that look like almost like you know the little loofah sponges if you just took it yeah. up there and uh, so definitely not neglecting the ceiling. So some texture in there. I know my mom had at her house, she had a nice home on the Caloosahatchee River in LaBelle, um, which she, she recently sold, but it was a, um, had kind of the metallic look. I think it was even like a paper, like a wallpaper type thing that you put on the, on the roof, yeah. the ceiling. Well, and it just, I mean, the coffered ceilings, even like, uh, copper, the panels, yes. you know, just something depending on the style of your home. Yeah. Yeah. So there, so you can get creative with the, with the ceiling. Um, yeah. So th there's, you know, a lot of uh, cool things that people are doing now. Is it, does it seem to be like a lighter trend, a trend away from some of the darker, like the dark maple woods and those types of things to a lighter trend? Yeah. So as far as overall, uh, structure of your home, yes, but, uh, black is coming back. Okay. So how everyone kind of did the whole matching sets that were all black, whether it was sofas and 
every piece of furniture. Right. Um, now it's kind of just accenting. So what it's whether it's like a wall that has black and white stripes and then you're doing pops of green color, um, it's just bringing some black back into the home, which nice. is like, I feel like what we all got away from. And now it's like, coming yeah. Back. And I love your Instagram too. What get, let's give that out. Quickly. Yeah. It's just um, Coco oh. design group, COCO -CO, design, design group. group. Yep. And, and so you've got some really cool things, some projects. I love how you show the project. There's some tile that you were painting like on the tile. So that's my, the, the, with the painting is my uh, go-to for DIY, but uh, they do have those ceramic, tiles that already have the patterns on it but to save some money because those are quite expensive um, you can buy stencils and if you already have a tile that's down you can paint the tile tiles all one color and then you put the stencil on top and you wow. can stencil it in that's and then pretty cool. seal it uh yeah and i'm doing i have a house in st pete that is a historic home that they really wanted to keep the character in it but we also wanted to bring some modern touches so we yeah. did um a room that was had some tile in it the sunroom and then i also did tile on the risers of the stairs nice which uh, it, it's that's really the one i cool. remember yeah, yeah that i think was if really you just cool. saw that I, it was like an in progress shot it hadn't been grouted or anything but yeah it um and same with a kind of a way to make it a little less expensive rather yeah. than doing the whole tiles you can get uh like backsplash tiles or um the decorative and uh do it like that and that cuts down probably half the cost of the mosaic tiles wow yeah it can get expensive when you're you know finishing a home you're doing the certain you know certain upgrades are more expensive than others when yeah, it comes so you to gotta, the, you, yeah kind of pick and choose where you can spend your money and you know you want to do it nice and so where's where's where do you want to put your money and, and so that's a great point you know when you're when you're building a home or even remodeling you know where do you where do you recommend people put their dollar uh furniture Furniture for sure. Okay. You want stuff that's going to last and be a high quality as far as fabrics that you choose. Um, accessories is where I would say save the money. Right. I, I always go with high quality sofas and chairs and coffee tables, anything like that. Um, but when I accessorize, I go to home goods and mm. I just grab a bunch of pillows, pillows like 16 bucks and yep. some accessories here and there. And you can do up the house. I mean, it, yeah, that's where I would save money and that's where I would spend money. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's important. If you just joined us, Brandon Rhymes here. We're talking with Michael Morbido, Coco Design Group here uh, in Tampa Bay, interior design specialist. And uh, so we, James pulled up a trend, some yeah. trends in design. So let's kind of roll through these. Uh, and there, um, so let's get your opinion on it. So number one, it says dedicated chopping and baking stations. Uh, regular countertops height is fine uh, for those casual weekly meals. Yeah, what it just seems like a, that one kind of means that they're more built in rather than just adding, you know, the uh cutting blocks and stuff on top of the counters I which see. is interesting yeah, it says that's why some avid cooks are gravitating toward dedicating chopping and baking stations are often a continuation of a larger standard height island yeah if you're if you're renovating the kitchen it's really important to like i'm working on a project right now which i just um partnered up with a show partner um jason avery to do a kitchen and it is just figuring out the best configuration to where if you're taking something out of the oven like where are you going to place it you know it's right. so much more than just the look and appeal of everything it really needs to be functional as well yeah especially uh, so, with the kitchen i mean it's yeah. th those, for for a cook you know there's there's certain measurements where you want to be you know from the oven to the sink to the fridge the triangle right yeah and doors <laughs> like and doors, however yeah. they're opening you know yes. and if they're touching that i feel like goes over people's head a lot <laughs> yeah yeah that's exactly you know you, you go to open the freezer door and it's like oh there's a cabinet there i can't really can't open, open it all the way things at once because of it yeah. yeah you can't get the ice maker out because it won't open up all right number two it says matte black finishes which is what you just touched on yeah <laughs> satin brass even has made a takeover in some kitchens yeah brass was the trend all this year and it's it is kind of difficult because it's those are the easy switch out so whether it's kitchen hardware where everything was brushed nickel and then you see the brass with the white shaker cabinets right. and you know those things are easy to switch out but they're not cheap either and now now apparently we have to switch all of those out to black <laughs> oh wow okay <laughs> number three this was an interesting one right more color in the kitchen yes so speaking of that uh my client was very precise that she wanted a white shaker cabinet and jason is He's like, man, I just want to do something different. He's like, everyone's just been doing the white shaker style. Yeah. Uh, but I, I do trying to get that 
daring client that wants to do some blue or green colored cabinets because it I mean, it looks awesome. It's just how long can you commit to it? Right. You have to really love that color. Yeah, you do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. So number three, uh, number four, antibacterial materials. Interesting. That is interesting. I have not uh, seen nor heard about that. Yeah, imagine a yet. countertop that takes care of the salmonella bacteria for you after preparing chicken for dinner. That's the idea behind several materials presented at the International Exhibit of Ceramic Tile and Bathroom Furnishings. Yeah, interesting. I think I still wipe the kind of down. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. just make sure you keep your house clean. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, some are, well, people don't realize actually granite is more porous than quartz. And there, so there's certain things when it comes to those types of finishings. So, all right, we're going to we're gonna save five through ten when we come back. More from Michael Morabito, Coco Design Group. We got Nick Kick in the house also. Uh, maybe he's going to touch on some investor loans, maybe even time for some renovation loans uh, later as well. We're going to touch on that and more from our expert contributors. Stay with us right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, your number one consumer advocate helping you win in any marketplace. We'll see you right after this short break. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show and I say Brandon Rhymes, knock out your competition. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372 online at Consumer Q B.com. I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, helping you win in any marketplace. Of course, powered by PlatinumMVPRealty.com. Check out PlatinumMVPRealty.com for all of your real estate needs. And I want to give a shout out to Replenish IV Solutions, the science of nutritional balance. Uh, say hello to Steve and Lisa Gunnan over at replenish iv solutions in south tampa they're located right on gandy boulevard and uh in the dalton dental building there uh they've got all types of different uh services that they can offer you and these are vitamins that are going to be injected directly into your bloodstream weight loss uh, they've got ozone therapy anti-aging health and wellness performance and i go there at least once a month and get a, an, an update uh, and uh, plugged in here with the science of nutritional balance replenish iv solutions longtime friends of the 
consumer quarterback show. All right, we're back here in studio. A couple of hot listings to let you know about. 5506 Dallas Way in Valrico, River Hills Country Club, gated community, corner lot, pool home, contractor built this home. The owner is a contractor, and he put all of the highest and best materials utilized. Four bedrooms, three baths, $540,000 for over 3,500 square foot heated. A gorgeous home, one owner home, 5506 Dallas Way in Valrico. 2606 North Valrico Road in Sefner. This is 84 acres, prime for development. I've got uh, 84 acres. It's reduced price as well, $1.2 million. Uh, 84 acres, a great opportunity for any builders, developers, uh, entrepreneurs out there that want to develop. 2606 North Valrico Road in Sefner. Another beautiful property here in gorgeous Tampa Bay. And our feel-good story of the week, we're going to tell you something positive here in our Tell Me Something Good. Tell me something good. Okay, so Jose Andres served 3.6 million meals in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. Now he's feeding people hit by Florence. Jose Andres and his organization World Central Kitchen helped serve over 3.6 million meals in Puerto Rico after Maria. Now he's re the renowned chef, the world-renowned chef, has uh, set up shop in North Carolina to feed people hit by Hurricane Florence. Andres and his team are in North Carolina. They arrived before the storm, and they so far have served over 140,000 meals. Wow. Uh, they delivered hot meals to 25 shelters across uh, the number of counties, plus emergency operations, police departments, fire stations, National Guards, uh, search and rescue teams, individual families and neighborhoods who don't have access to food. Uh, World Central Kitchen Executive Director Nate Mook told CNN. Good stuff. A feel good story of the week. And uh, humanitarian is, uh, you know, it's alive and well. But after these storms, man, yes. really good stuff happening. People you do really see a lot of people coming out and trying to help everybody out. It's, it's, it's an awesome thing that we can all come together. And it's do great. That. They're it rallying is. together. All right. So we're talking with Michael Morbido here currently. Coco Design Group. Nick Kick in the house. BBMC Mortgage as well. Uh, so number five here, we were saying dining tables in kitchen. Not everyone is in favor of a big island, especially for eating family meals. I think that is completely dependent on the layout of your home i am still a huge uh island fan yeah i love those big islands i think it's people just, love islands and yeah. it's just it's less of sit down uh more of just like stand around while someone's cooking and you're entertaining and yeah i think it's just a little you less always formal too, when you're at somebody's house everybody always congregates in the kitchen yeah. no matter what you can have the most comfortable furniture but everybody seems to be standing in the kitchen that's you don't right see them going around a dining table yeah it's part of the <laughs> home yeah the dining the, the least most room or used room in a house is the dining room yeah. right unless you're doing formal dinners families in town a big holiday type dinner all right number six wallpaper like tile i think yeah. we talked about that a little bit right yeah um i don't know about it on the wall um so much but definitely on the floor, like the same kind of style. Um, yeah, I agree. All right, let's see. Number seven, glass insert for tub shower combos. So that's saying many still love their shower curtains, but partial glass dividers are coming on strong. Yeah, I think that's yeah, been around for a it, while, it's right? Clean, yeah, cleaner. Um, looks more custom yeah. designed rather than Built just in. throw. Yeah. Uh, number eight, concrete accents. Yep, I, I mean, I love like anything downtown Tampa, the uh, real industrial or channel side too. Like yeah. I'm doing a condo in the element right now where all the walls are concrete. You have the columns that are concrete. Um, so it's just kind of, a, don't go overboard with that, trying to fit to that design, but you also want to bring those elements that are surrounding the outside to the, also the inside. So, you know, uh, in this one, I did a concrete coffee table just to kind of bring it in the middle. Wow. Um, and then all the rest a little lighter. Just great to not idea. overdo the industrial and concrete light. Yeah, that's a great idea. All right, yeah. number nine, bold color sofas. Yes. Daring sofa color tackle, tackles common, uh, two common design challenges, adding color and creating a focal point. Yes, so not even just the bold colored sofas. So like when I was talking about the black and white, so if you're doing like a black and white accent wall or kind of the surroundings and then those... I've seen green sofas or blue sofas really bold. Right. But then also one of the trends that I've been seeing that I was going to say was um, curves. So not okay. just the straight lines anymore. That's super modern that everyone's kind of been wanting. Um, just the, the curves of the sofa really taking a mold to where it's uh, pops. Not only like the that. color, but the design of the sofa pops. Yeah, like attracting your eye, pulling your eye right mm -hmm. to that. Like it. All right, number 10, casual and calm modern bedrooms. It says you can't decorate your way to a good night's sleep. 
In other words, if you're looking for a calm, relaxing bedroom, ideal for a restful night, you don't want the space dripping with ornate decor, busy patterns, eye-opening color. Yeah, so another thing that I was going to bring up is bringing natural elements from outside into the home. So woods and greenery and all of that. So that kind of might be the bedroom thing. Uh, I kind of think of restoration hardware when I think of that, like all those heavy woods, but yeah. the lower profile and then bringing some calming colors in and green and just like having a real soft place to relax. And I, I, like I wouldn't bring any uh, bold colors in there. <laughs> yeah, that, I love blending the outdoor with the indoor. We're uh, building, you know, with the new home we're building, it's uh, we're going to have a uh, outdoor uh, bathroom or outdoor shower. You know, so it's got the concrete wall, put some nice foliage in there, some trees and yeah. ferns or whatever. Maybe some tile on the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all right. They're gonna, I think we're going to have that, you know, in the middle there. But uh, awesome. So it's going to be cool. Uh, looking forward to that. So Michael Morabito, for all of your interior design needs, home staging as well. Uh, if you're selling a property, home staging is, uh, we focus most of the conversation on design. So why don't we talk a little bit about home staging? What are you seeing in that space? Uh, just the main areas. So really focusing on doing those up to where a lot of the floor plans you see now, whether it's a newer home is kind of all the main areas on the bottom floor and bedrooms up top. Um, so when you walk in and it's an over open floor plan, just really laying it out the way the homeowner would and the best layout, whether it's a house that's meant to be for entertaining or. Yeah. Um, and, and isn't it, especially specifically with home uh, staging, isn't it kind of less is more in a lot of cases? Yeah, uh, kind of what we went over last time I was on the show was the <laughs> do's and don'ts and just depersonalizing and uh, just getting the the whole point across is just so someone can visualize it. Right. And that's, that's really it. See so don't flow. go crazy with colors. Don't right. go to one style. It's really just being transitional where someone can visualize themselves in the space. Yeah. You don't want to go overly modern or overly industrial and then be like, oh, this is what I have to do to make this look good in this house. You right. Know, to where it steers them away. Yeah. Keep it kind of neutral, a little bit more neutral. All right, let's jump into our lightning round here. The lightning round. I am so good at lightning rounds. I majored in lightning rounds. All right, top tips, nuggets of advice, parting words of wisdom, Nick Kick, BBMC Mortgage. Whether you're a seasoned investor um, in real estate or you just want to start off on your first investment property, I do have products that I do not have to verify income. We go off of what the property should rent for and that dictates um, qualification for income wise. So if your property can rent for $1,000 a month, I keep your mortgage payment at $800 a month and you qualify for income. You put some money down so you have skin in the game and we get you a brand new home. So instead of plunking down cash for a brand new home, let's talk about how we can get you three properties with 20% down on each. Um, you know, a lot of savvy investors out there are smart with their money, have smart CPAs and accountants and such. So this way, you know, they, they have a lot of write-offs. That doesn't scare me. I can get that loan done for you um, with that route. Or if you're not looking for an investment property and you are self-employed and you do write off a lot of your different things on your taxes, I do have alternate programs as well, alternate doc programs for you as well that we can get you qualified. This isn't what happened in the past where yeah. it put us in the financial crisis where we're just taking your word on it. We, we are verifying yeah. some way, shape or form income yeah. and you do have skin in the game. So this isn't anything to scare you away. This isn't going to create a new... Um, first thing another bubble or anything yeah. like that so yeah. reach out to me let's find out how we can get some more income driven properties under your belt and start making you some more money your website is bbmcmortgage.com or you can reach me at any time of the day any day of the week on my cell phone at 352-442-8905 and you can also find my contact information on brand insight as well consumerqb.com so, there you go all right michael uh parting words of advice yeah you're looking to renovate your home or just spruce up your design give us a call we do free consultations talk about the best route for you guys to go um be daring yeah do some pops of color like we can give advice even diy tips so it's not all of what we can do you know we'll structure it out to the best things for the pros to do and the best things that you can do on yourself right. to you know make it the best possible decision and money saving and just pick and choose what to do so people on a budget you can help them with that yeah 
maximize your budget, maximize your dollar. That's what it's all about these days. You know, making that dollar stretch as much as you can and uh, making smart decisions. You know, that's that's what we want you to do. Make smart decisions, understand more about your buying decisions, helping you avoid a lot of that commission-based advice. I want to thank Nick Kick, BBMC Mortgage, and Michael Moore, Beto Coco Design Group. Thanks so much for coming in and uh, dropping that knowledge for us today. We want our listeners, viewers out there to please follow us online, follow us on social and engage with us. We want to help you uh, also live a better life. And uh, please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Pack up some food or clothing. Hand it to that person that you see in need. Be a force for good in the community. Go and volunteer somewhere. Uh, get involved with your community and be kind to one another. Drive safely out there. We'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show. Weekday afternoons at 5 on AM 1380. The Biz. Are you a real estate agent looking to take your business to the next level and supercharge your marketing? Hi, I'm Brandon Rimes, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and host of the Real Estate Quarterback Show, syndicated radio and TV show talk program on iHeartRadio, 1025 The Bone, daily five o'clock drive time on 1380 The Biz, and our TV show is on WeBeam TV. We're looking for real estate agents that want to join our team and supercharge their marketing, utilizing some of our innovative strategies. We utilize the Real Geeks platform, Facebook marketing, internet marketing, and a lot of the traditional methods as well. Postcard mailers mailed for you, postage, signage, business cards, all paid for by the company. Aggressive real estate splits and ways to help you win in any marketplace. We need you to go out, take applications, and work our plethora of leads that we're generating on a daily basis. Reach out by clicking the form below and we'd love to have a confidential interview with you. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978.